right, Kathleen Trotter is the author of Finding Your Fit, and she will definitely help you find your fit here today as we're trying to uh, basically take your personality, your lifestyle, and find the perfect workout for you. Hello, Kathleen. Hello. It's good to have you back on the show. Oh, it's my pleasure. I love the topic of fitness. Yes. It's um, well. It, it's clear that you you keep yourself in great shape. You're well, always you do too. well. I try, right? But darn cheeseburgers get me every time. But that's why I need that, and that's what we're talking about here, right? Like finding your personality, your lifestyle. I like to eat cheeseburgers. I like to eat cookies. Well, once in a right? while, you gotta, you know, I call it my love it rule. If you love something, you know, yeah. once in a while, something small, moderate portion. But then you also make sure you work out. Yeah, you got to make sure yeah. you work it off because. So, it's very important to be Absolutely. healthy, to yes. get the best quality well, of life. Well, it makes you feel more energized and empowered. But the trick with being active is that you have to make it match who you are as a person, mm -hmm. right? And your lifestyle and your goals. Yeah. So I'm all, all about the two C's of training, which is basically you make something convenient enough that you can do it consistently. Mm -hmm. Because in order to reach any health goal, you have to do it regularly. It doesn't matter what you do sort of the fourth Saturday of every month, right? It's also if you eat one cheeseburger a month, that doesn't matter. It's only if you start eating, <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> but it's, it's sort of you, like if you did a cheeseburger breakfast, lunch, dinner, that's what would matter, right? Yeah. So the health, it's like a health bucket. You think of it. Like little um, choices, they all add up, and all of a sudden your health bucket is overflowing Ooh, with energy. I, like I know, that. right? Overflowing with cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. But it is very You're difficult. twisting my words. <laughs> <laughs> I totally am. I'm just trying to make it okay in my brain that I do that. Uh, but it is difficult, like you were saying, with our busy schedules and everything, right? Yeah. To, to find out the perfect Absolutely, way. Absolutely, which is the whole point of my book. It's finding your fit. Yeah. It doesn't matter what works for me. It doesn't matter what works for your brother or your sister. What matters is working for Dylan, right? Okay. So, nice. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So give us <laughs> so some tips here, Kathleen. I will. Okay, so let's say you're super busy and you know you can't get to the gym. Fine. You're the busy multitasker. So you set your alarm at work. So once an hour it goes up and you do some stretches. You get yourself a tracker and you track your steps every day. We were talking in the, the um, lounge about how somebody there, her dad just got a tracker and how mm -hmm. it just, it was so great to have that technology mm -hmm. and the stats. And then you can be like, oh, I walked 8,000 steps yesterday. Today I'm going to walk 9,000, right? I think that's huge because that's only come around in the last little while with, with all yeah. these Fitbits and just, you know, on your cell phone yeah. and stuff like but that. Again, it's what fits your personality mm -hmm. because, for example, if I gave my mother one of these, she would laugh at me and be like, what, do I stand on it? Like it does. So <laughs> if you yeah. don't like technology, then this is not for you, right? Okay. So it's for what is for you, right? It's your personality. I like your alarm clock too because everybody uses one that looks like that still, right? <laughs> it's cute, eh? Yeah. It's actually my mother's as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's enough. the busy multitasker. You yeah. can sit on a Fitbit, um, a Fitbit at work. Okay. You can even stand on it to challenge your balance. What exactly is this? What? Yeah, it's cool, eh? So this is called a sit fit. Yeah. You can sit on it, and that means if you start to slouch, you feel the air sort of move in the cushion. Yeah. So you have to be like, oh, I better use my core. I better sit up straighter. Okay. Uh, but you can also stand on it, and I don't know if you, they can sort of get me here, but it's sure. like all ah, wobbly, right? So you stand on it. <laughs> you need a midday break. You're like, oh, I want to do some shoulder rolls, move your feet to get some ankle circulation. So as my mother would say, it's all about finding solutions, mm -hmm. not excuses. There's always Ooh. ways to be active if you're looking for the solution. And I've always said if you have an excuse for something, then you don't want it bad enough. I want to steal that. You like that? I you really, can tweet that really, later if you want. I actually might. Like but that. I also think it would look kind of funny if you walked by and you saw Judy in her in her cubicle, just like sort of waving her hand on, on one of those. It would no? catch on. Everybody yeah. in the studio would be like standing on sit fit. Judy, don't sit on it this way. That looks like it would be a little painful on, on the bum, you know? But That's if you stand on it bare feet, then it helps with circulation and what's called proprioception, which yeah. is sort of the body's ability to know where you are That's in a, space. Those are big words. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, what else do you so have So next, here? we got the competitive bunny. Yeah. So, you know, let's say your personality is your social you like to chat with people mm -hmm. so then don't just go for a run by yourself go join a sports team play ultimate frisbee right or let's say you're competitive but only really with yourself get yourself a running watch and track okay yesterday i did 5k in 30 minutes tomorrow i'm going to do it in 29 minutes right wow. it's all yeah and then you can just win a gold in the olympics at those times <laughs> exactly <No? laughs> but it's all about figuring sure. out what is going to motivate you right yeah. so Maybe you're not maybe you're not competitive, but maybe you really like strength training. So then then you're a gym bunny, okay. right? Or you like to do fun fitness classes. I brought these because I love fat grips. So they're a really good way to make your work it's a little bit more fun. You put yeah. them on the dumbbell and it strengthens your forearms. Oh, so nice. yeah, so as opposed to just kind of doing like wrist curls and you hold them when you do squats and it and yeah, it's a great okay. way to make things a little bit different. That's interesting. Yeah. So we've gone through three of the We've the gone through three, so yeah. Far? So the multitasker, yeah. the competitive, the gym bunny. The gym right? Bunnies. And the last one is the home bunny. The home right? bunny. Right, yeah. So this is the perfect person for, you know, you're working three jobs, maybe you're going to school, maybe you have kids. So fine. Yeah. 
you work out at home. And there's great ways to work out at home, really inexpensive. Gliders, they slide on the floor, you can do lunges, you can do push-ups, uh, resistance bands, you can stand on them and work your outer thighs. I've seen those you resistance do... bands and I don't know why they scare me a little bit. Like, <laughs> I think I brought like, them last time. Yeah, yeah, it just looks like it might rip with, you know, if you have like a certain weight class or whatever and you're pulling on it. No, no. they're just inspirational because they're bright colors and they're really inexpensive. They're like 10 bucks, you can travel with them, yeah. right? Okay. Um, these are wonderful, they're yoga tune-up balls, so you put them behind your back and you can roll out your back if you're tight and stiff. Oh, nice. This is another sort of balance tool, so you can do lunges on it, squats. So really the whole idea is just you make it what works for you. Okay. And also, here's another really important tip. You're not just one of these or the other. So maybe you really normally like to go to the gym. But if you have a meeting that pops up at work and you can't get to the gym, that's fine. But you say to yourself, daily motion is a non-negotiable. I didn't get to the gym, that's fine. I'm going to work out when I get home, mm. right? And really, another key thing is that perfect is the enemy of done. So yeah, you might not get your perfect gym workout, but who cares? You can still do 10 minutes at home. You can do 20 minutes. Yeah. You can always do something if you're looking for those solutions. Here's another one for you. Okay, computer. are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter how slow you go, you're still uh, pa pacing everyone on the couch. It's so true, You know right? what I mean? Absolutely. And it's true, right? Because sometimes I, I, I'm uh, tough on myself if I don't get in my full 45 minutes or hour on the treadmill or whatever, right? But still, if I only did half an hour, 15 minutes, that's better than zero. Yes, yeah, something is always better than nothing, and especially yeah. with training, because we get into this thing of like, oh, I can't do it perfectly, I might as well do nothing. Oh, yeah. I've had one cookie, I might as well have five. Oh, one. I've had a glass, <laughs> I've had a glass of wine, again, I might as well have two clean. or three. <laughs> uh, why do people keep falling off the horse, so to say? So to speak, well, I think it's because the idea of you have to be perfect. You have to ditch that perfection. What you have to do is just be trending positive. Try to have more healthy choices next month than you did last month, right? Okay. Simple as that? Okay. That's simple. Well, thank you. It really is simple stuff. And it's simple but not easy. Here's a third one. Okay. okay. All you need, it, the toughest part is just getting your shoes on. No, that's you my 10-minute rule. So I say to everybody, <laughs> you don't want to work out, you make yourself do something for 10 minutes. Because yeah. once you've done 10 minutes, you'll probably end up doing 20 or 30. Amazing. And if you don't, at least you've done 10. Kathleen Trotter, so good to have you here. Oh, it's Inspirational. Uh, author of Finding Your Fit as well. She also writes for the Globe and Mail. How cool is that? KathleenTrotter.com for more details. Uh, coming up, uh, how about this? Winter vacations for the family? Sure, we'll go through a few next on Daytime.